Well, we'd like to welcome everyone to the center of election, uh, election 2020, 1599, Project 1599. Thanks for coming. Thanks. Uh, good afternoon. And thanks to everyone for being here. You know, the reason we do this is now more than ever, truth and absolute truth and the facts are needed in politics. You know, as you get into a, as you get into a world that just goes wild on the Internet, there has to be a group that does nothing but get to the truth and get to the bottom of things. And frankly, in both parties, in all parties, and that's what we do here at Project 1599, which is the center of the 2020 election. And I will, I turn it over now to my partner, Jacob Bull. Jacob? Like we said, it's good to welcome you back to the center of election 2020. And today we're pre presenting some very serious allegations against Senator Elizabeth Warren. She was involved in a very explicit relationship with a male escort who stands to my left side, a decorated U.S. combat veteran, somebody who served our country, a war hero, truly. I don't think this is a funny thing. And so, without further ado, I'm going to toss it to Kelvin here, and he's going to tell you a little bit about his general background and his... Are you... I, I have a question. Are you laughing at our troops? Do you think his service in Afghanistan is funny? Do you think, do you think our dead soldiers... Do you think our service... Do you, do you think our soldiers who lost their lives in Afghanistan... Whoa! Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kelvin Welly, and as Jack Burtman and uh, Jake Bull said here, I'm 25 years old, and I'm a United States combat veteran. Tonight, I uh, this evening, I bring you here to talk about how me and Senator Warren had our escapade. Senator w Elizabeth Warren first secured my services from a website called Cowboys for Angels. The site is for attractive young men, as you can see, <laughs> who provide companionship, escort services, to be well-heeled women. I was hired by Senator Warren from the site on August 7th of 2018. She reached out by messaging me on the site. Pay no mind. <laughs> on August 8th of 2018, right <laughs> on August 8th of 2018, Man, boy, I was booked okay, hold on. by... The laughing has to stop or you have to leave the property. I'm not going to tell you again. Security will remove them. Last warning. Thank you. I was booked by Senator Warren on a flight to Massachusetts. I was told to take an Uber to a lobby of the Hilton, I'm sorry. Of the Hilton Hotel in Woburn, Massachusetts. I complied with the instructions of my new client, despite being rather nervous. I had to spend time with an older woman many times before, but never a woman over 60. Nice. <laughs> Although I was unaware of it at the time, Senator Warren wanted not just rough sex, but extensive BDSM play, which I'm sure you're quite familiar with, I'm sure. On the early morning of August 8th, before boarding my flight, she messaged me and told me to bring toys. I asked, what kind of toys? And she said, surprise me. At that point, while waiting to board my flight, I ordered a Hitachi massager and a small tube of water-based lubricant. I had the products delivered via Amazon, as we all do. On the same day delivery to the front desk of the Hilton, where I was set to meet Senator Warren. The evening of August 8th of 2018 was not the first, not several, but many BDSM sessions with Senator Warren. Although I had a fair amount of experience in this business, I was shocked by the intensity, duration, and just sheer violence of what Senator Warren wanted. After our introductory <clears throat> pleasantries, she seemed disappointed, quite disappointed, with what I ordered from Amazon. 
Although we made use with what we had available during this session, I usually don't ask whether my clients are married. But for some strange reason, with Senator Warren, I did just that before we parted ways. She said, yes, I am married. My husband and I are in an open relationship. It's like that Facebook open relationship. She added, in my line of work, this is a fairly common arrangement. Okay. You wouldn't believe how many studs like you show up to the congregational retreats. And with that, I got an Uber and back to the airport. As the time went on, the sessions became increasingly edgy. During one session, she insisted being, <clears throat> she insisted, insisted on being whipped 22 times prior to having intercourse. On another, she asked me to bring a cat of nine tails, which I obtained again from Amazon. And over my strenuous objections, she insisted that I whip her with the cat of nine tails until there was extensive marks on her buttocks and rough sex followed. In the late 2018 at a hotel in Washington, D.C., she insisted upon doing a threesome. Uh, with me and a second woman, of course, she asked me to procure a beautiful and busty early 20s friend of mine. So I asked a friend of mine from high school who I knew about sexual adventure, who she was very sexually adventurous, and Senator Warren engaged in lesbian sex with my friend from high school, using a lime green strap on dildo. <laughs> So I can remember, as, as, I'm sorry, I'm What's sorry. Funny? I'm, What's funny? As a lime green strap on dildo, as I can remember, that she bought, brought with her in her suitcase. Still in a new box, never used. And the distinct rubbery smell of this device was quite overwhelming. So Senator Warren, Warren who by this point I knew as just Liz, Asked me to wash it off in the sink after taking it out of the box, which I did. Senator Warren has also told me that she has a 37-year-old daughter, and her name is Lisa. That was the product of a one-night stand at a party she attended when she was a professor at the University of Houston. She told me that she was, has always kept this daughter hidden from public view. Sounds a lot like John Edwards. And I think we're familiar with all of this from. I think I think we're familiar with all this from the Democrat Party. Of course, we all remember John Edwards, a mistress, a love child, and an affair that shocked the conscience of the nation, as this I'm sure does. And of course. And of course. Well, what, what, hold on, hold on, hang on. What we're going to show you now, what we're going to show you now is that the sex between our client here and Senator Warren was so violent that he actually obtained scars on his back. So why don't you go ahead and show us the scars there? We're going to, we're going to, hey, look, we're going to open it up to questions very shortly. You'll be able to ask whatever you want. But until then, you're going to have to stay quiet or you're going to be asked to leave. You can see two scars here. That was from the cat of nine tails. That was from Senator Warren's transgressions. You know, when you look at Senator Warren and you see, wow, why hasn't she changed her last name to man? Her husband's last name is man. And then you realize that she's in an open relationship. It's not as surprising. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. You know, I would think. Mike, all kidding aside, you know, this is a young man who fought for his country and was wounded in Afghanistan. I don't think any of you have ever fought for your country or been wounded in Afghanistan. I certainly don't think you've ever fought for your country. So bear, bear, bear that in mind. You owe respect to a Marine that's fought for his country. I think it's shameful behavior. 
All right, and with, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and open it up to questions. Go ahead and go ahead and remove him, Lewis. Get that guy out of there. He's freaking me out. Get that guy out of there. Right there, black shirt. Your security guard isn't taking your demands. Ladies and gentlemen, we open now. All right, how much how much did she pay you? That's for you here. How much did she pay you? And um, how much did she tip? So she. <clears throat> So I've already ran uh, escort services before, as I previously stated. So I don't really see this much of a initial payment. I usually see a bigger tip. The initial payment was quite substantial, and the tip was equally, <laughs> equally as such. Can, can you give us a dollar amount? The dollar amount was Take me. thousand for just the initial. And then she paid twelve fifty. But you, you did it multiple times. Was it the same rate each time? Listen, we're going to go ahead and do this in an orderly fashion. Right there, Mr. Feinberg. Uh, yes. Um, so, for uh, your uh, your guest here, how could you meet with Senator Warren on August eighth, twenty eighteen, when the Senate was, I believe, in session for the first two weeks of August. They she wasn't at the Senate. They she was in Woburn, Massachusetts, as you will find if you look at her calendars and if you look at her campaign billings, you will find that she was at the hotel with Mr. Wiley at the time. So you can look at the FEC records. All the records are very clear. has verified this with her campaign billings. If you look at her FEC records, you will see verification. I can't speak to whether the Senate was in session or whether she should have been doing her job, but I can speak to the campaign billings we researched. Next question, now, right there, sir in the poll. Yes, you. What happened to the age? She was 24 last night, now he's 25. Is it your he's about to turn no, 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 listen. On the press release, he was 24, now he's 25. He's almost 25. At the time, at the time, he was 24, and now he's 25. All right, so did he turn 25 last night? You see, listen, you seem like this, this is, his age is a big subject of controversy for you. It's not for us. All right, next question, right there. In the polo, in the polo. Get him the polo. I'm going to tell you, you have to be very careful in this day and age with revenge porn laws and things of that sort. Strictly never any, strictly never any photography with me or any client, ever. But what he does have is he has voluminous Amazon receipts, Uber receipts, you name it. Now listen, when people come to us, it's our job to vet their stories. Now if he said, listen, if he said that he was at one location at one time, and that Senator Warren happened to be at that same location, I might worry. But here's the thing. He says, no, I was here at the same time. He shows us receipts. He was at the Watergate Hotel. He shows us receipts. And sure enough, Elizabeth Warren's campaign was at that very same hotel at that very same time on multiple occasions. So we're not alleging anything criminal here, but the reality is that Elizabeth Warren has engaged in deviant sexual activities, and we believe that it's in the interest of democracy that people know. Right there, blue shirt. We are releasing his receipts very shortly. Black shirt. Sorry, uh, you said at the Watergate Hotel, is that the hotel in uh, point number nine at a hotel in Washington, D.C.? Is that the Watergate specifically? No, that was at the Jefferson on that particular occasion. There was another occasion where it was at the Watergate. Oh, okay. Right there, gray, uh, yeah, gray shirt. Yeah, you, uh, you just said that there was no illegal activity had, but other than in the state of Nevada, it is illegal to pay for intercourse. So was, was there... No, there was no payment, there was no payment for intercourse. Uh, what there was, was there was a payment for companionship escort services, as our client has engaged in many times. You know, occasionally you have women, maybe they're less attractive, and they want a companion to come along with them to a baby shower, a bachelorette party, etc. And they will pay a good-looking young man, like our client, to come with them. Right there, black shirt. Mr. Wall, do you believe Donald Trump's tariffs on scotch will inhibit the masculine... Next question. Uh, Feinberg, yes. Right, so, do you have any, or can your, your buddy here provide any documentation about his Marine uh, Corps service? Unit, uh, dates of service. You said he was uh, a Purple rank, Heart. Rank. How, let me uh, ask you this, Mr. Feinberg. How about a non-disclosure agreement with Elizabeth Warren's signature on it, a mutual NDA? Would that do it for you? Do you have that? Oh, about his Marine service. No, 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 no. He's going to talk. I'm sorry. I, I misheard you. Why don't talk about your Marine service? Let's show these guys up. Any comment about your Purple Heart? Yeah. What was your Purple Heart? 
I do not have a Purple Heart. You have to, you have to put in for a Purple Heart. Even if you're wounded, you still have to put in for a Purple Heart. Describe your service in Afghanistan. So my service in Afghanistan, it was very early in my Marine Corps time of just getting into my unit. 2012. Unit. I was stationed in Hawaii. One three. One three. The rest you can look. It's on Wikipedia. But in 2012, we were stationed in Afghanistan, and it was just very recently deployed. I do apologize. Deployed to Afghanistan. Jacob, it seems like And in this time that I went there. What's going on? We're gonna take it one at a time. Let me just tell you one thing. When it comes to honoring service here, we don't play around. And if you're gonna keep impugning this serviceman's service, fighting the Taliban in Afghanistan, then you're gonna leave. Get that guy out of here. He's crazy. What? There's no stolen valor here. Ma'am, right here. About half of Americans participate in BDSM, and this sounds like a consensual relationship, so what's the big deal? No, no, half of Americans don't participate in BDSM. They do. Actually, actually, yeah. fetish... I'm a, I'm a sex educator. Is this about the briefcase? Half, half, let's hear it. Listen. It's also consensual. Ha half of Americans... Like the briefcase, Jacob. Maybe, maybe you participate in BDSM, but half of Americans don't. She does, okay. But... I, I would just say the the relevance of this here you have a here you have a married woman seeking the highest office in the land. She has represented to the nation that her marriage is not open. She she has represented on numerous occasions that she is faithful to her husband. The public needs to know. The public needs to know. In the back, Joe, the black T-shirt. He was talking. He was talking about the Marine His unit. Was just One three. Like Hunter Kelly. Just like Hunter Kelly. Stolen valor. Stolen valor. May I ask the person that is at saying stolen valor? Have you served my country? No. Thank you. Goddamn right. That's fucking bullshit. Jacob's smiling. A purple heart. Okay. All right, we're gonna take it to the next question. Anything else? We're gonna take. We're gonna take three more questions right there in the black. Yes. Well, listen. I, I will tell you. This may come as a surprise to you, but we're actually an apolitical operation. And what we do is what we do is we vet candidates. Certain candidates have received what we call the Berkman Wolf Seal of Approval. Those candidates in include. Listen, if you keep interrupting, you're gonna have to leave. I need you to wait your turn. And so, and so, in the case of in the case of Elizabeth Warren, what we've learned is that. On CNN earlier this week, Elizabeth Warren represented that she was in a monogamous, traditional relationship with her husband, Bruce Mann. Now, there's nothing traditional about not taking your husband's name. We know that much. John Delaney never came here. And what we, what he, John Delaney did come here. And what we now know is that Elizabeth Warren has engaged in a BDSM relationship. She has an illegitimate child. And she's not qualified to be president of the United States. And, and by the way, we all know, hold on, hold on. We all know that we can all be honest with ourselves here. We know that women are more hormonal, hormonal than men. And so when we have a woman who's engaged in wild escapades all around the country, we have to ask ourselves, is this somebody that we want in the White House? And the question is a resounding no. Next question, blue shirt. Oh 
Absolutely. Uh, we're going to take two more questions. What about the whistleblower? What about the whistleblower? I've already, I've already posted the whistleblower's name on my Telegram channel. Oh. So that means you are a virgin. So uh, you said that in your statement you have you as having whipped Elizabeth Warren several times, but you not also me. Did, no, no, not you, Jacob, of course. No, no, no. The, God um, forbid. But you also have uh, the injury on your back. Are you, is Elizabeth Warren a dom, a sub, or like a switch? She's very. Um, he, he probably. She's more of a dominatrix, if you understand. She's more of a dom, but sometimes she likes to be. Gray shirt. Well, I'll tell you what the difference is. I'll tell you what the difference is. The difference is very clear. Trump is a peak alpha male. And so And so when you look at when you look at President Trump, him engaging in an extramarital affair, if that's even true, I don't think it is. I don't think it is would be understandable, would be normal, would be average. But when you look at Elizabeth Warren, you're talking about a very frail, very old woman who's going to be who's going to be hormonally challenged as it relates to the uh, All right, we're going to do two more questions. Mr. Summer, you have another you have another chance. Mr. Summer. Two questions in here. Please. First is for Kelvin. Kelvin, uh, are you being paid for any of this by Jack or Jacob or anyone else? Absolutely not. Okay. I, my second question is: Is your Instagram handle Ty Ninety Nine Warrior? No. He said negative. <laughs> um, are you concerned at all, given Jack and Jamie's reputation for uh, uh, How did the two of you? How did the? How did you guys meet? Contact? It was through an extensive research project, but no, I am not worried. Are you on psychiatric medication? Listen. No. 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 Hey. Listen. In this country, we have something called HIPAA. <laughs> that means we take a white patient. Why are you laughing? What's funny? Your security guard. Our medical information is of none of your concern. Now we're going to take one final question, what and then we're going to wrap this up. So that's not one final question. I'm going to give Will a token question, and then one more question from everyone else. Will, go ahead. Yeah, hey, so Kelvin, that is your Instagram. There's pictures all over it. And I'll note, the scar on your back, you posted a picture of it three years ago and oh, said it was That's not a question. Next question. Jacob, it seems like it's all falling apart again. It was Hunter Kelly. It was, it was Caroline Cass. Now it's this guy. So What's if, going on? If you value the discretion, like you said, you would never take photos and so forth because you value the discretion of your clients. Why, why are you coming forward now? This was your paid clients. Why, why would you go public with it? Well, I'll tell you exactly why. We don't want a situation where you have a very frail old woman who ends up winning the presidency and she ends up in the White House and then this stuff comes out while she's already president. There's an issue. If somebody is not faithful to their spouse, do you really think that person is, is capable? Listen, here's the issue. Here's the issue. Elizabeth Warren has represented not once, but we have counted six times that she is in a monogamous relationship. This contravenes and contradicts that. That's important information. What, 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 is, what is Kelvin's motivation? I'd love to hear from Black Kelvin. shirt, and he's the last question. Last question. Mr. Welly, it says I, Senator Warren, who at this point I knew is just Liz. How did you How did you become aware that she was uh, Elizabeth Warren, Democrat, Massachusetts, etc.? Like, did it take you a while to connect the dots here? No, she she made it very clear to me when we met. And I just decided to call her Liz because, well, I didn't decide. I, I'm sorry. I didn't decide to call her. She said, just call Liz. Well, the story keeps changing. What's the deal? Caroline Cass, Hunter Kelly, are you not disappearing now? Why are you disappearing? Why are you disappearing? What's going on? It seems like a lie. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Let's just have fun. Thank you. I love him. I didn't try to hide under you. Well, no, he fucking did. He would not put his head out of hand. I don't give a shit how big he is. I'll show my foot up and fuck you. I'm still alive. I've got 6,000. Yeah, no, it was just... He's the attitude here in there.
in the crime. Yeah, I mean, people just saw right through it. I mean, there were continuous lies. He was 24, then he was 25, and then someone discovered his photo, um, and he posted a picture of it supposedly a couple years ago. It's just falling apart, just like Hunter Kelly. Uh, just like Caroline Cass, and now the latest smear is uh, is this guy. So. <laughs> is she afraid of their frailty? Her, is she is worried who's going to kill her with a hitachi? Is he afraid of the frailty, or is he afraid of the whips? Man, you just—it's a balance, you know. I'm still it's alive fun. here. Any does anyone want to share? How, do, yeah, how does this seem out from, from the sidewalk perspective? <laughs> like I, a fucking, I mean, the guy laughed when he talked about the neon green strap on or whatever. I've, <laughs> I've now actually switched my support from Bernie Sanders to Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> now that I know that she fucks and, um, yeah, like she would, good for yeah. her. She can get it. Um, get it, Cougar. Rawr. Did Rawr. Anyone here Rawr. Rawr. I'm still voting for Bernie, Are, though. Believe him? No. I want, yeah, to believe I, want to congratulate. I want to believe him. 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 I want to believe everything he I said. I want to see the graphic novel when it comes out. Woo!